Hey guys, Cameron over at 816 Diesel. Coming at you live from the West Bottoms in downtown Kansas City, Missouri. We're doing a condition walk around video today. Another one, black and gold. This one is a 04 Ford F350 and it's a cool truck. It is a one ton dually extended cab short bed, four wheel drive. It's a very rare chassis. It has a short wheelbase, which is nice. You know, it's pretty equivalent to a single cab long bed. So one of the shorter trucks they made, uh, 60 Power Stroke, late 04. So it's not the early 04 model, it is a late. And we're gonna be going through it, showing you everything, checking it inside and out, popping the hood, all the fun stuff. About 60 degrees out today, so it's not really a cold start and I've driven it, so it's a condition start. Lariat model on top of that. Power seats, leather interior, no rips or tears. A little stain, I bet you that comes out. I forgot to clean that. Uh, it's an extended cab, so you got the butterfly doors. Seats for six in this still. Six seat belts, one, two, three, four, five, six. But yeah, let's hop up and get started. Check the miles. Go through the inside. <clears throat> All right. What do we got? 208374. And tranny's warmed up. Engines, it's getting there. It's registering, but it's not warm. Truck fires right up. We've gone through the motor. Solid truck. No leaks, no issues. Uh, we serviced it. Did the fluids, basic stuff. Uh, steering, suspension. We did the steering, alignment. That's pretty much it. Uh, but we got it. It did have a bad rear end. And we took it to a and v transmission local shop in merriam kansas uh they rebuilt the rear end the whole differential took it apart new fluid sealed it did brakes and a wheel bearing on the rear end so rear ends fully serviced let's check this ac it's a little getting a little warm today out a little humid we got some rain and the sun's coming out nice cold ac four-wheel drive cup holders airbag it's not a super fancy Larry. It's not a console with heated seats. Um, it's leather and <clears throat> that's about it. Pretty close. I uh, didn't check the tune. Good tunes on it. Cruise control. Power locks, power windows, power mirrors. Let's check those bad boys. Yep, they're looking good. Back and forth. Uh, it's got the overhead console, but it's dead and this is super common on these if you look on eBay There's a guy who rebuilds them for like 50 60 bucks uh, Basically, there's some I don't know what they are Relays or resistors in there that go bad So they just resolder all the new hardware in there and that'll tell you your direction your fuel economy the Lyo meter I wouldn't rely on it, but Something that can be fixed if it's a deal breaker Leather's in great shape. Like, even this console. Like, look at this. There is no grease or rips or tears or cracking. I mean, this is a work truck. There is some light leather cracking out there we can see. It's a work truck, but, I mean, it is it is a classy work truck. Black and gold two-tone, leather seats, tinted windows, flatbed. It's nice. Uh, let's pop out, check under the hood, go around the body. We've got some stuff to cover. Nothing too crazy. I think you'll like what's under the engine or what's under the hood here. Air raid, cold air intake, two brand new batteries. We had to put them in. Uh, and look down there, head studs, ARP head studs done by the previous owner. So the truck is studded and deleted. Pop your head right there. That is your EPR delete. Little exhaust on it too. Oh, wow, really nice. I do hear a pulley making a little bit of noise. Zero blow by. Look at that. That's perfect. It is a great running truck. 200k just getting broken. Nice, nice truck. So you know, we did our basic twist that we always do to these. We put in the Harley Davidson headlights. Um, other than that, we did do DRL switchbacks in the mirrors, smoked those out, and smoked out the cab lights. 
tinted the windows. And aside from that, we really haven't touched this truck. Serviced the front end. It was in really good shape, the front end. Just got that drag link tie rod. Just the steering. All joints were solid on this thing. It's a well taken care of truck. But it was a farm truck, you know. Stock height. We did do four shocks on it. You see we got brand new shocks there. Running boards. Let's go over this butterfly door and check the... Now, this truck did have some rust at some point. I don't know if you could tell. It's pretty sharp, but that is a cab corner cover. And if you get behind it, you can see there's a little rust. But it covers it up quite nicely. But that is a cover. Form fit. So it did have a little cab rust. Set of airbags, Firestone ride rights on there. Flatbed's really nice. Oh, let me get that wind block. Sorry, this is probably going to be loud. Got a tractor supply toolbox on it. Headache rack, LED lights. Uh, this bed was on it when we got it. We just left it. I didn't really touch it. I mean, everything's plumbed in. Two inch receiver hitch. Gooseneck ball. Now, this is a huge flat bed. Like, it is super wide. I mean, I know it's a one ton dually bed, but you can take these wood rails off and the box off and it's even bigger. Equipped with Ride Right Firestone system. No compressor though. They are manual chucks. Just air up your bags right there. Like I said, have aftermarket exhaust on it. I don't know why that's like that. Magnaflow system. Nothing too crazy. Tires in the rear. They're mud terrain, Mastercraft. Forcers, MTs. I'll tell you about these tires. They got plenty of tread, but they're definitely a farm tire setup and they're cupped a little bit. So they make some noise, but they're not terrible. They just make some noise and they're a little choppy. A lot of these farm trucks, you'll see four MTs on the rear and some ATs on the front. And that's exactly what this truck has. I didn't even look over here. Let's check them for you. Same thing, two Mastercrafts, tons of tread. They almost look new, they're not new. But all in all, good rubber. If you want 35s put on this, we can do it at an additional cost. That is no problem. We almost did it on this one, but that's a, you know, that's a good set of tires. These, these tires are great for a work truck, so. You know, we can pass some savings on to you, but if you want them done on 35s, we'll do it. Manual passenger seat. It's not power. It's got the old grab bar down here. I mean, all in all, guys, this truck is beautiful. It's in nice shape. Ready to work. Great colors, great options, good miles got the studs already done to it I mean it's a heck of a truck cold AC beautiful colors look at this thing black and gold always just looks so right with these trucks but enough talking about it if you're interested in it if you got questions about it if you want to come see it here's what I want you to do 816diesel.com follow it you're gonna find pictures, tons of HD pictures that I just took, VIN number, pricing, all the information I just covered in this video is on the website, 816diesel.com. Head over there now, my name's Cameron. Uh, you can call or text me, 913-735-3748. Let me know if you got any questions or if you wanna make an appointment to come see it. Let me know if you wanna put a deposit on it. You can reserve it today. PayPal, Venmo, we take it all, so. Guys, I appreciate your time for watching. Uh, I'm going to putz back to the shop with the gimbal on here and show you a little drive time. Uh, but I do appreciate all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Let me know what you think about this truck. 
I know we've been doing them a little different lately. They haven't been coming out with all the mods we typically do. We're trying to deliver a, a good mixture of work truck and play truck. So, you know, there's a, a demand for both, but we're gonna open her up here and end the video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, ring the bell. We got more cool trucks coming. Low mileage 7.3s, built race trucks, we got them all. Thanks for watching, guys.